Abdul Engineer Rashid is an independent MLA. He feels in this particular case there is nothing which this boy has done wrong. There is nothing which his politician father has done wrong. Rashni Kher is founder member of Roots in Kashmir. Sambit Patra is BJP spokesperson. And well-known author Advaita Kala is our fourth voice on this debate tonight. Abdul Engineer Rashid, may I first bring you in into this debate? Why do you feel the boy is okay, what he's done? You know, his father who defends this particular act of his son, his son's power trip, why do you feel it's justified? Yeah. First, let me uh, correct the record. It is Engineer Rashid. It is not Engineer Abdul Rashid. And I have not defended Nasir Aslam on his defense. What I want to say is that boy has not committed any crime. And sir, the time, sir, he's got and, an AK-47 uh, what, gun. Uh, sorry, he's got an AK-47 gun. The, you've seen the, the pictures. Miss, miss, one second. Uh, Abdul Engineer Rashid, you've seen the pictures there, right? He's wearing the uniform of an IPS officer and posing with a gun. Does he own the gun or is it a government gun? A politician's son can do that, Mr. Raj, in Kashmir today? I think today, today the debate is the most unfortunate debate, which is... Uh, sir, hmm. sir, I think it is... I think, I think it is unfortunate. The debate should have been the killing of two youth yesterday. Sir, the, he's I'm a son. sorry to say, Time Zanab is a very a, credible channel. Mr. We were Mr. expecting Mr. a debate on yesterday's second. unfortunate sir, that, sir, sir, one sir, minute. Please, can I, I, can I, can I, Mr. Mr. I have Mr. Rashid. Nasr he has, he is short of words. Mr. Rashid, he is the son of a politician. Yeah. He is brandishing a gun. What does it reflect? It is a show of strength and easy access. It shows that children of politicians have access to the most lethal Absolutely. of weapons. Think... That they can... One second, sir, please. They can misuse security cover. Guns are meant to protect. They are not meant to brandish around for photographs. An AK-47 gun is not the latest gizmo that needs to be shown off as a status symbol. His brandishing of a gun is a threat to him and to the security of other people around him. How do I know whether the gun is loaded or not loaded? Exactly. How do I know that? And, and don't tell me what is, what is an issue to debate. Don't tell me what is an issue to debate. Give me a minute to respond. If you will not listen to... If you will not listen to my version, sir, but, but listen to my version now. I have heard you, sir. Give me a minute to respond. What I want to say, what Nasir, the way Nasir Aslamani is trying to defend it is condemnable. But what I want to say that we are passing in a state, we are living in a state of uh, conflict zone. We have been passing sir, that through, is no uh, gun excuse. since last 25 years. Sir, that years. is no excuse. It was that is no excuse. State government. Sir, sir, there, there is no, there is, there is when no we, excuse. When we created the renegades, sir, the government renegades, who were sir, uh, uh, the guns sir, there is, the sir, this man's the, father, the has been incorporated this in man's the father, Sambit Patra of the BJP and Rashni Kher uh, well, at this point of time. This man's father, and I want to show the other part of the footage, Rashni. I don't know if uh, Abdul uh, Engineer Rashid will deny this footage, but this man's father is a man called Nas Nasir Aslam Wani. He was caught kicking a party worker. Yes. At a convention in Kashmir, those are the yes. pictures. His you know, son kicks people. Yes. He Arnab, kicks people and his son takes the gun and plays around it with it <laughs> like it's a plaything. So, Rashid, what's man, going on? Yeah, I, I have a couple of points to make. One, this man is, I you know, this is an I hereditary problem. People, Engineer Rashid, Engineer Rashid, please allow me to speak, sir. This is an hereditary problem. His, he, his father, Aslam Wani, was kicking in Gandharbal, which is Omar Abdullah's constituency. And Omar Abdullah took no action. So, such acts get emboldened when action is not taken. Now, when uh, Pratibha Patil, of which he mentioned in that interview to Aditya, that she also branded a gun, this is what Omar Abdullah wrote on his blog. He said, it reminded me of a rather forgettable Sylvester Stallone movie. And he added that this gun has killed so many people, therefore it should not be carried. Now, if the President of India carries a gun, which I am sure must have been checked, uh, you know, locked, and, you know, bullets taken out, not loaded. This is what Omar Abdullah had to say. Why doesn't he come out and condemn this incident? And if his son is so fond you of joining police force... Please, please, please allow me to speak. Sir, please, sir, please allow me to speak. 
and if he is so interested in joining the police force he should have joined ncc to begin with that is how people get into armed forces he should at least have an a or a b certificate by now which i am sure he doesn't have and then what gives him the right to wear the uniform of a ips officer or carry a gun these are titles these are uniforms which one has to earn and come to people after a lot of hard work it is it's honestly it is bizarre that he is defending his son but more bizarre than that is that umar abdullah is not taking any action against this sheik aslam jain yeah because people like abdul engineer rashid are now used to this culture in jammu and kashmir a culture of subservience where you've got to be subservient to all the politicians above you you can't dare to speak up for what is right and abdul engineer rashid is obviously scared that if he takes on umar abdullah at this point of time it's not good for his own political no, it is, career it is, it is sambit like patra that, sambit patra you want the national some time to listen. i i have listen given you my, time listen, sir you have been unable point, to sir. make your point listen to my point you have been not, sir you there is no like point that. to make I, a jammu and kashmir in jammu and kashmir in jammu and kashmir a minister beat up a man inside a police station and walked away right another minister humiliated and abused the chief of public health we engineering we condemn that we condemn a traffic that. policeman a traffic policeman is beaten up by fellow policemen for trying to stop the jnk irrigation minister's car so this is kashmir there has been a culture since 1990 which the state which the state of india has incorporated where ekwanis have been armed this is bizarre this is bizarre this is this is your this is the culture of a small number of people Engineer Rashid, please don't, please don't push your separatist agenda here. Engineer Rashid, for God's sake, for God's sake, don't digress. Don't, please don't push, please don't push your separatist agenda. I am not, I am not having any sympathy. I am not having any. But why are you pushing a separatist agenda on the television? That is deplorable. But my point is that is it. What is the difference between Ajmal Amir Kasab and those who killed yesterday two civilians? You didn't hold the debate. Come on, what, what is the debate about? What What is the debate about, Engineer Rashid? Do you get English or not? What is the debate about? Yes, no, no, Engineer Rashid, the debate is about let him let carrying a gun. We are not talking about the two killings. Engineer Rashid, Mr. Engineer Rashid, Mr. Engineer Rashid, you can't know what's happening. As far as as far as the Badgam incident is concerned, Mr. Mr. Engineer Rashid, Mr. Engineer Rashid, you cannot justify. You have a habit of supporting separatists and subversives. We know this. You are a near separatist in the assembly. I am not justifying. You know this, sir. I am not justifying. So you appear to be out and out separatist. I am not justifying. What I want to say that you have. Why are you mixing you the two issues? The so what is the, what is the issue tonight? What is the issue? Mr. Engineer what Rashid, what is the issue tonight? What is the issue tonight? Last week, Sambit Patra. Issue. You know, well, last week's pictures on air, please. Let's put. Let us put last week's pictures on air. And I think if the people of Jammu and Kashmir vote, it should be on what is happening in their state. Last week, a 28-year-old brat, his name is Tony Farhan Beg. He uploaded his father and deputy inspector general of police's picture with a policeman helping to him to put on his shoes. Those pictures had created an absolute chaos in Jammu and Kashmir, and an investigation was put into this incident. After this, we now have pictures of a 20-year-old brat wearing the uniform of an IPS officer and posing with a gun next to. armed personnel the person is a senior national conference leader he defends his son he says what's wrong is it a game and do you think mr rashid you can justify this power trip sambit patra taking you on now mr patra mr patra or no, no i just want mr patra please mr patra mr engineer mr. 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 mr patra but at yes. the same time you never mr patra please mind you about it the guys who can were other stop can mr engineer Europe stop Europe for a while and he was or no i just want to remind you of the fact that we had a debate a few days ago about mr omar abdullah who was not serious about the is is flags being visible in jammu yes. kashmir yes. a chief minister who is not serious about a very grave issue how do you expect the chief minister to be serious about this issue secondly as far as this particular power trip is concerned you will see two things one the audacious entitlement of the son and the family members and secondly ironically we have not discussed the point the point is the ease with which the uniform of the ips officer and the guns were supplied to the uh, to the kid 
I believe both of them are to be blamed. The police is also to be blamed as the son of the uh, important leader is concerned. He is to be blamed. Both should be taken to task. Thirdly, let me remind you that the president of India is the head of the armed affairs. So she has the right to hold a gun because she's the head. She's the commander in chief of the Indian Army, the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force. So she has the right. Thirdly and very importantly, well, yes, any one of us and every one of us has the right to have a, a fancy dress competition. We can wear dresses of an IS officer, which are not exactly the dresses of IS officer. We can brand toy guns and play with them. But playing with the real guns, which can be really dangerous for the people st standing around, is really something which is fearful and which should be denounced. Lastly, for politicians as important as Nashir Vani, I believe more important than his sons and his ambitions are concerned. The lacks of uh, sons in abject poverty in Jammu and Kashmir should be a matter of concern. Absolutely. I mean, if this if this fellow wants to hold a gun, then Advaita let him join the police force and hold a gun. And if film stars... One minute, Absolutely. Mr. Engineer. Mr. Engineer, film stars hold guns in the movies. That's an unreal world. This is the real world. No, but you are not allowing me to respond, sir. I will I let you respond. Hear others as well. Advaita hasn't even spoken. Yes, Advaita. Yes. I think, first of all, the defense is, is, is hilarious because here you have someone equating a minor child to film stars, to the president of the country, to justify an action which is clearly wrong. So I think in this instance, you know, defense cannot be deflection as Mr. In engineer is trying earlier on in the debate, nor can it be a sort of equivalence that you draw with uh, heads of state and people of constitutional authority. Like Kiran Bedi, I think it was Kiran Bedi who spoke earlier and said that this needs to be earned. I think that is something that has not gotten through. And uh, one more point, I mean, in terms of uh, Chief Minister Abdullah, I mean, you, he has a great sense of humor because he's constantly constantly seems to find things amusing. I was reading up on, I mean, it's unfair to blame the sins of the father on the child, but this is a gentleman who was kicking uh, party workers. And uh, Mr. Abdullah, again, uh, in, in said in humor, I assume, I only hope it was in humor, uh, that while uh, inaugurating a football astroturf field, that uh, maybe Mr. Vani was the right man to do it because he could kick well. And this is in media reports. So there's obviously this sort of uh, casual attitude to this culture of entitlement that clearly exists in Jammu uh, and Kashmir right now. And uh, simply a deflection is not the answer. And as far as, uh, and, and as, far as Samit Patra's point of holding cops responsible for this, I would actually yeah. defer from that for the simple reason yeah. that the power dynamics are so skewed in this culture of so, civility that it, we've seen repeatedly being exposed in these circumstances that for a police officer to give up his service revolver or a gun to a brat is really not a choice that he, he, has, to, he has to make. There is no choice in this situation. True. Precisely, I agree with you thoroughly. I agree with you thoroughly, but is this a joke? Abdul Engineer Rashid, is this a joke here? You know, uh, earlier Omar Abdullah, if this is true, what Advaita Kala has said, because I was not aware of it, if it is true that he made this comment that perhaps the best person in a football field is the person who was kicking the party worker, is this how you treat human beings? Tell me, Abdul Engineer Rashid, how would you feel? How would you feel? How would you feel yes, if you yes, were Mr. kicked? Mr. No, one second, Mr. sir. Mr. How would you feel yes, yes. if you were kicked? How would you feel if you were if you were kicked by a party leader? If you were lying on the ground and a party leader was kicking you again and again, what do you do? Please, sir. Please. It is unfortunate. You don't allow others to respond. Allow me to respond, sir. Kashmiri people are mature enough, they will punish Umar Abdullah and Nasir Aslamani for that. Again, avoiding the issue. They don't need your dictation or my Again, dictation. avoiding the issue. Enough. Avoiding the issue. Very convenient they will, they will for an independent MLA. Sir, they will definitely punish. They will, they will punish. No, I am not. I am not avoiding the issue, sir. Sir, I am not avoiding the issue. They will definitely punish and ask Nasir Aslamani for that, what he has said. But what I want to say, Nasir Aslamani's son, or uh, what, the way he has tried to defend it, my point is, I, am talk I, am, I want to take you to the real world, where the renegades, those working with the army, the civilians, the civil militia, they are rooming with the guns. You can, you can talk about Sir, Kukapare. you are again... There, there, are, there are no renegades today. There are no renegades today. No, no. Allow me to speak. And Rashid, Arnab, Arnab. 
बदगा Everybody has carried the views of the chief minister, the views of the protesters, the statement of the army. Nobody is blacking out anything. Don't but lie on TV. Everybody is reporting the incident. Yeah, but but what are we talking about yeah, now? Can you use that? that? Did you speak up when the yeah. same man Aslam Wani was kicking your party workers? Yeah, Did you speak up yeah, then? Did you speak up then? Did you speak once yeah, then? Yeah, then? Yeah, then? Did you speak yeah, once yeah, against? At that point of time, did you raise your voice once against the way your people were being treated? When? Did you when? speak once when when Yasin Malik went and had a meeting with Hafiz Saeed and Jammu and Kashmir on, on the other side? Did you speak once yeah, against Yasin Malik? Did you no, speak I once against answer, Gilani? You have you taken have a position to once to against what the separatists are doing? Sir, it is not on have the you Yasin spoken Malik. about where the money it comes from? No, you haven't Let done that. You, so, sir, I am putting things in perspective. Sambit Patra responding one last time. Sambit Patra, please. Mr Patra yes, Mr Patra closing the debate after this we can all talk yes Mr Patra yes Mr engineer allow others to talk also for, uh, or not let me congratulate you for bringing up this Mr. very serious Patra, issue and let me tell you humanity. it is just the tip of the Mr engineer allow others to speak this is just oh, the tip of the wonderful. iceberg that and we are seeing the there would be number of other such cases which are hidden which have not come up thanks to the social media and thanks yes, to the media absolutely. that such issues have come to the fore today to the public domain today and we are discussing it yes. secondly as far as the two youth are concerned the home, they have been killed minister. yes we are, we are we sad are that it has happened that's a different Kashmir. topic the government is looking into that affair so that is no excuse that is a separate and topic the government is looking into it this is a separate social issue and about what we which done? we are debating what today done, and thirdly mr engineer yes, where were you when a resolution was being passed in the jammu kashmir assembly against india and in favor of pakistan he was supporting He voted, he, voted he, voted he voted for it. He voted for it. He voted for it. He was supporting that. He voted for it. Arnab, Arnab, I have a small question. Arnab, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Why was Mr. Engineer Singh? 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 No, no, Mr. Then Engineer, have you heard you? of a man called Bitta Karate? Just the Jammu Kashmir Assembly. Then you do have grudges with the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly. Then you treat the members of the Assembly also as not all, but you for say. sure. You Then are you almost a separatist. You have always the carried the separatist agenda in the Assembly. I can show you 20 different times when you have intervened no, no, in the Assembly on behalf I of separatists. Separatist. If talking truth is to be a separatist, we are proud to be. Separatist. Abdul Engineer Rashi. That is it. Advaita Kala, Sambit Patra, and Rashni. Kid. I think I think the pictures speak for themselves. And if 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 Mr. Wani thinks, I'll just run the pictures once, one last time, so our viewers can think over these pictures. Full frame, please, if we can have those pictures on the screen for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, just think about this picture. This is not a plaything. 
This boy can join the police force if he wants. His father is justifying it. His father goes around and kicks political workers like they are football. And his son brandishes a gun that he has no business even holding. If both father and son are on a power trip, will all of us just watch? Thank you for joining me on debate number three on the news hour tonight.